So as I haven't done the medium diaries for tier 1, I actually do need these Paja meats to be able to hunt Grenwalls, which is quite annoying, but it's the only way I really know how to get Grenwall spikes efficiently for extreme ranging potions, which I, which is like the only potions I need for overload. So I will be forced to hunt quite a bit of these. I'm probably going to use like 100 of these papaya fruits, and then with all the meats that I get, I'm just going to go and hunt Grenwalls. I do actually have quite a lot of the uh, tickets, you know, to hunt Grenwalls, because I've done a uh, giant Shinchompa minigame quite a lot, so that should be fine, but I'm going to be doing this for quite a bit, and then I'm going to hunt like 100 Grand Walls, something like that, and then after that I'll show you guys how many spikes I have, and then I need to make extreme ranging, and then, finally, I can make overloads after I get a boost. So yes, I will have to do quite a lot, but I do need those overloads now because I only have like two left. I think actually after doing only one trip with like 24 of these Paya meats, I don't really need more because I'll end up on like 300 of the Grenwell spikes. And that's going to give me like 60 potions, I guess. And honestly, 63 dose overloads and that's 7800 by the way, I, that's why I recorded. Uh, but yeah, I feel like 60 is actually enough to do a bunch of Araxor kills, because I only use two doses every single kill. So essentially 60 of them, three dose, and that's like how many? 45 maybe four dose I can't really do the calculations that's like almost a hundred kills so I think it's going to be enough with just doing this instead of spending like a couple of hours doing even more so I'm going to do these now and then after that and I just forgot to put these in um, but yeah after that I'll just stop make the overloads and we should be good for a while Alright, so I ended up with 63 overload 3 dose after making a few of magic potions as well because I didn't have any of those, which it was quite annoying to actually make the mudrons and grind them, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, so in the end, we got 47 th uh, 4 dose is what it is, and overall I have 49 now because I still have 2 here and maybe I have some uh, small doses left as well in the bank laying around. There you go, I have 3 of those. Uh, and also I have these flasks and sometimes from Araxor I do get overload flasks and that extends even more, so with 49 overload uh, potions, I will be able to do quite a lot of kills, at least 100. So during this video I will be doing Araxor just like always, but I will only show you guys the highlight drops because showing you guys like 20 kills every single loot is not that fun in my opinion, maybe some people do enjoy that, but for me I just wanted to do that all the way up to the first leg piece and now that I do have that, I only want to show you guys the highlight drops. For example, two sovereign scales in my opinion is a highlight drop, getting like dwarf weed seeds, or actually I will show you that because that's when I'm going to use my pet chance, uh, but for example when I get U logs or I get ores or anything like that, I'm just not going to show that. But for the first kill that I did actually today, I got Siren Scales, which is really good. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to show you guys everything after all. I got two Onyxes straight after that. Pretty neat. Wow, that's back to back to back. Pretty good the Raxor drop. Now, usually I wouldn't actually like these Triskillion fragments, but it is the third part and that means a free Elite Clue Scroll. So I guess I'll just complete the key and do that right now. And by the way, from the Triskillion key, I obviously got the 5 uncut dragon stones, you can see that in my inventory, and the elite clue scroll, and then a tertiary to that, I got the runite ores and the coal, so that's not too bad, but let's open the elite one and see what we get. Alright, that is a stole, and I'm not sure which one, armadillo stole, you know, I don't think I have that, as a matter of fact, I might have it. So, I think, I don't know actually if I have it, but even if I do have it, it doesn't really seem like it's worth it, because I think... The armadillo store looks really terrible. Judging by all the other armadillo items I've ever got, they look all too terrible. So I'm just going to reroll that, confirm into... Well, that's... Whoa. Whoa, those numbers on the... <laughs> 114144. That, okay, it's worth the reroll just to see those numbers. So I just completed the Brink of Extinction quest, and it took me about an hour. It wasn't that bad, I thought it would be really bad, because I heard there was like, so many puzzles in this, but honestly, the puzzles were so easy. So, no worries, I usually hate puzzles, but in this quest specifically, it wasn't really that bad. But the reason why I wanted to do this was because apparently you get a lot of experience for it, which I can clearly see that I did. 100k mining, that saved me so much time, I'm just going to say that. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the fight cauldron, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but we got three quest points and that's actually why I decided to pick this one because three quest points is quite a lot And that means I need 14 more to be able to do wild gothic sleeps, but um, yeah I guess I got this lamp as well. I don't know if can use it. Oh, it's only combat skills. That's pretty unfortunate um, Yeah, I'll use it on attack wait 275k do we level? Oh my god, I'm going to be 5k experience off All right. Well close enough <laughs> 5k experience to 90 sweet 
For some reason, every single time I do a Raxor with the normal Java client, it lags. Like, I get so many lag spikes, it's actually unreal. I don't know if you guys can see it now, but like, it stops and then it's, it's like freeze lags. It lags for a bit and then it works again and then it freezes a bit and then it works again. So, that's kind of annoying. You could see it might maybe there, I don't know. But, um, yeah, the thing is... The reason why I haven't used the NXT client is because bossing on it was really bad when it was released because they could teleport all over the place and then also uh, it was really weird recording with it because sometimes it couldn't even detect the client you know I'm using OBS to record and it doesn't really find the client sometimes but now I assume it's fixed because it's been a while and I guess OBS is updated to work with it and everything so probably in the near future I will have the NXT client going instead of the normal Java client which hopefully also will increase the quality Quality of the videos because it's not going to look like it's two pixels which is hopefully good and I'm failing horribly now. I am so sold when it comes to the NXT client. Holy shit that was the most smooth experience I've ever had playing this game. So yeah from now on I'm just going to be using the NXT client. I didn't realize it was this good because I, when I used it at the first times it was really bad. So anyways by the way a Triskillian fragment piece. Only the piece one though so not that interesting. Now I wasn't getting very lucky on Naraxor, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to go and pick up my Barrow's Dive from the Monthly Oysters, let's do that real quick. You know, that's... Whoa, that's a lot of things. It looks so weird. I can't really tell, like, what this is on the NXT client just yet. Like, I see it's a Rune 2 age, but just by looking at it, I can't tell. So, anyways, that's a decent reward, I guess. Firelighters is always sweet. I think I have, like, 100 of each now, so <laughs> I'm getting closer to having a lot of those, at least. I feel like 100 is quite a lot. I actually kind of want to try to go for 400 hard clue scrolls because I'm so close to it. So let's just complete one here and see what we get. And we get... Alright, we can reroll it. That's pretty neat. Uh, rune plate legs and rune plate body age 2. I can't really see that it's trimmed. It looks like a normal one on the NXT client. But yeah, uh, we need 11 more hard clue scrolls and then we have done 400. But let's reroll this real quick and see what we get. Confirm into... Oh, what's this? This is a worst reward. Alright, well, I'll take it. It's not that bad anyways. It's Alkibos. You know, I kind of need money anyways. All the money that I can possibly get for summoning is not bad, so... Let's just quickly go through a couple of hard clue scrolls. I'm going to be doing Slayer for quite a while, so hopefully I can get a bunch of clue scrolls. Might be elite, might be hard, we will have to see, but anyways, here we have the second hard clue scroll. A really bad one. Oh, and by the way, I did actually hit 90 attacks, so maybe, just maybe, I'll start doing some Calfight Queen in the future. We'll have to see if I want the Drygors or not. It depends if I do get a Sight or not from our Axor, obviously, before then. Let's open the Hard Casket and see what we get. Talking about Firelighters earlier, here's 11 purple ones, which is actually the icon for my YouTube channel as well, so that's pretty cool. I think that for this video I'm going to be doing this one and then one more after that so I can actually re-roll one at least and then I'm going to be done with hard clues for now but let's see what we get from this one and we get... that's a unique but I think I have the enchanted robe already. I'm pretty sure I have the... I, I know I have at least one enchanted item and I'm pretty sure I have two so yeah, I'm just going to... wait I could re-roll this one? Alright well then this is going to be the last one. I thought that actually I had to do one more to be able to re-roll but anyways yeah I'm going to re-roll this because I'm Pretty sure I already have that. Confirm, and we get... That's also unique. Wait, one million reward. That's two uniques. Okay, so an age four. I thought it was a good fix first, but apparently not. And then this is a uh, Saradom in play body. I actually think I have, like, four of them. So that's the fifth one, but it's worth one million in normal prices. So I'll definitely take that. I just got a Reaper assignment to kill some Siliana, and the first loot that I get, I just clicked on the loot pile, I didn't even watch my chat log or anything, and I get a Saradom insist in my inventory. So that's pretty sweet. I don't know if I already have one of these. I might, but I can't really remember, but I will check in the bank when I'm done with this trip, but also if I do get like a clue scroll from this, I'm obviously going to do that. I think I have like 216 Reaper points currently, so we're getting closer to a third Hydrix, which is really cool. Alright, alright, calm down, calm down, what did I just get? I got an elite clue scroll and a Saradomin sword in the exact same kill. I mean, this was off the ads, but this one was from the boss. Alright, so I've done three kills now, and I've got a Saradomin's his, a Saradomin sword, and an elite clue scroll. This is a pretty good trip so far, I have to say. You know, um, yeah, I'll just stop speaking. I do feel like I deserve this elite reward after that amazing Reaper assignment. I had 13 kills, I got an effigy. Got an elite clue scroll, got Saradominses and Saradomin sword. It's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't actually have a Saradomins here, so that's another unique, I guess. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but I'll just put it in the bank and it looks pretty sweet. So I was just quickly looking through my bank and all of the keys that I had in my bank I do have in my inventory now. I try to fit it in one inventory and do it in one trip. 
probably not going to be possible. I might need to bank, but we will have to see. Uh, but I already have signets for all of these, and that's why they were just chilling in the bank. I already have two of the Turches ones. I have one of the Quartus one and one of the Primus. So I guess getting a sec second signet of the Quartus and the Primus one could be beneficial if I were to make a second Ascension Crossbow in the future. We will have to see. Obviously, I'm very far off it at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just want to do the keys because I could get a pet. I could get the most important thing, in my opinion, the main reasons why I want to do this, Sirenic Scales, because if I do get all, all the way to 28 of them overall, I can make the legs, I think it's 28, and then the chest is like 42, I believe. So, I have 15 Sirenic Scales currently, so I'm not that far off the legs, I guess halfway, a bit uh, closer than halfway. So yeah, if we get any scales, that's absolutely amazing. So, let's start with the Primus ones. You know, aside from actually getting an actual Quintus key, which is one of the bosses that I do need the signets from, I actually get a signet. That's pretty good. I mean, what? how can I even loot this? Uh, I need kind of all of these items. I guess I'll just drop this blue charm. I just brought um, one blue charm and one crimson charm to have as, like, placeholders, because uh, if they do drop, I don't have to drop anything else, like a potion or something, so... Well, that's a signet after, like, four kills. Turning out to be a pretty goddamn good trip. It was a good thing I actually used these keys. Now the thing is, this is the Turges one, and I already finished the Quartus ones, and the Quartus ones actually did give me a Sirenic Scale, which is the thing I actually wanted. But this is the third Turges Signet, so unfortunately, and this really sucks, this is completely useless, no matter what. Because I can't make three Ascension Crossbows, but you know, stacking up on them is cool, I guess, to have a cool bank, so... I'll take it. I think I did about 20 kills on an average, and I got two Cyrenic Scales from it overall. And actually that's not very bad, because I think the drop rate is 1 in 12 or 1 in 16. So I would, in theory, only get one, but I got two, so that's pretty cool. So I'm happy with the results, and obviously I got two Signets, which is crazy. So I'm going to end the video here, but I just want to say that I'm going to be training thieving for a bit. I want to get 75 in it, so I have 75 in all skills except farming. I'm not really going to focus on farming, like getting it up to 75 before I do anything else, because it's such a slow skill, I can't really do anything other than just wait for my trees to grow or my herbs, whatever, you know. And also I don't have that many seeds, but hopefully I can get a lot of seeds from doing bossing, PVMing, all that kind of good stuff, so I will get there in time. Also I could get the seed aside, which should be very important that I do get because I do quite a bit of Slayer and I get a lot of seeds which I don't end up picking up, which is a loss of experience, so I'm probably going to try to get the seed aside as soon as I can. But also, um, the reasons why I have 68 thieving when it's a really good skill for Iron Man on like high levels, uh, when you can pickpocket elves and Priftanas and all the kind of good stuff, is because it's such a boring skill and the thing is, it's very repetitive, It's nothing really happens. Uh, I know you can do some things like uh, the monkey knife fighters or something like that. I have never done that before and if you know how it works, please let me know how it works because I cannot find the names of them, I cannot find it in the logs. I, I was looking through all of the levels and everything, I couldn't find them, I, I actually can't. I've been looking through all of these and I just can't find it, so that's kind of uh, unfortunate. But if you know how that works and if you know what I'm talking about then please let me know because getting some variety in thieving leveling is important to me because doing the same thing from 68 to 90 and then doing dwarf traders into elves is really boring. So so that's kind of why I haven't been doing thieving, but now I'm most likely going to spend my time for the next day or something to get 75 in thieving, so I have that milestone done. But anyways, for now, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care, and if you did like this video, please leave a like, it means a lot to me, and uh, yeah, have a good day, guys.